Did you want to d- talk about the pay-per-view a little bit, or are you doing Raycon and getting out of here? You can do. We, we can talk about I didn't watch any of it. We can talk about it. Okay. Carl, did you watch it? Yep. All of it? Yep. All right. So this is going to be our uh, a review of of uh, Full Gear, okay? And Conan watched it. I did not watch it. Let me tell you why I did not watch it. Okay, first of all, it's at work. Okay, so I can't watch the show because I'm at work. Um, but if I, like, go back and look at a show and somebody tells me something's good, okay, and I go back and look and it says, like, you know, eight minutes and 42 seconds, you know, I'll invest the time. Bro, every, every single one of these matches. Yeah, they were very long. Very, very long. long. I think, and, and bro, I don't think there was one match that was under 18 minutes. Let me look here. Here's, the, here's the thing here. about that. I watched it with two friends. I usually watch the WWE pay-per-views with, and by the Britt Baker match, they were done. Let's go out. They stopped watching the show halfway through because yeah. the matches were long. First two, I, I mean, I, I, you but know. This is what I think is happening. Let me just say this because I'll forget. I do think this is what's happening. The last pay-per-view was really strong matches because they really were strong yeah, matches. Really Even good. this pay-per-view was had strong matches up and down. I can't say there was a bad match. There were matches that were better than others. But I do think that these matches are for their hardcore fans, and they like long matches. Right. But they, sh- they should MJF, be shorter. They should MJF be shorter. Darby Allen, 22 minutes. But it was very yeah. good. Uh, very Penta, good. Penta, FTR, 18 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so Daniel you saw Bryan the show, Joe? Yes, yeah. Up okay, until so you can chime up until like um, a little bit past the middle. Then I went back and watched Punk Kingston. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Finish. All right, so, 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 uh, so, so, let's go over this. For first match, Darby Allen. I, I heard this match was good. Very good. Very Darby good. MJF, okay. MJF Very good. was a yeah big time star performance from him. In okay, bro, they uh, both showed out. And they tried to steal the show as well. They should. You don't see MJF wrestle much, but he is very good because I saw him in MLW, so I'd already know what he can do. He can do lucha, he can do American, so I can do hardcore. He's very, very talented, bro, and I'm very glad that he was able to show that. You also got to remember Darby for a while was in Evolve. Yep. And, you know, that type did, and that's the, like very technical wrestling. They did a little bit of everything, chain wrestling, lucha, a lot of really nasty bumps. Yeah. I mean, you know, and the fans were like, Doing the dueling chance for both, they're really into it. Great selling of the knee. MJF, by MJF. was selling his knee the whole time. Great yes. job. Yep. yep. Uh, old school finish, bro. Just an old school finish with a <laughs> foreign object to the <laughs> face. Uh, I put it back in the trunks. Good heat, yep. simple. I liked yep. it. And he I pinned him with a headlock takeover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. yeah. See, right, they so they next- they keep like you mentioned. They don't put him on TV wrestling much. So for me, who hadn't seen him in MLW, I kind of think maybe there's a reason they don't spotlight him in the ring. Maybe he's not as good as his mic. No, but no, he, dude, he was, good on the ring. it was yeah. so good. Yep. And Darby was good too. Yep. And you know, I give respect to both on this one. Great open. Um, next match was, uh, um, the Lucha brothers against FTR. There was a bad, your boy, your, let me tell you something, your boys, Phoenix and Penta, they need to learn how to throw punches. Hmm. They had a spot in the corner where Penta was on top of one of the, 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 the bald guy. And he was hitting he him was with his the, forearm. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I saw that. That's you. Um, supposedly he he, he uh, supposedly I, I read somewhere that the match went home early because he got he early. He, that he was got, a long match too. How long? I was know, that? but I'm hurt. Where would I read this? Hang on. Maybe our boy AEW botches uh, said this. Yeah, I heard that that one of the FTR guys was like um, knocked out. But I looked at the match again after I read that. And I was like, try to where? find where? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find it where. Could no, he, he was anything. a loopy or he wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? I never I never saw where it happened. So here's what we see. Okay, and it must be true because somebody also well, said Cornette that. said this. Here, here, okay, let me read the tweet. Cornette okay. said this. Um so first of all, the tweet is from uh what is this? I thought Penthouse Penta knew how to throw a punch with the forearms to the head. But supposedly the series of punches was mentioned on the podcast. Now we hear the Lucha brothers knocked back senseless. And that was the reason the match finished on the pay-per-view sucked. Um, can Tony Khan please sign a tag team that FTR can actually have a match with? Best team in wrestling is just floundering. Interesting. So he buries your boy. Cornette is buried in Penta and Phoenix there. But he's not a fan of them. But he's not a fan of Lucha. So. Uh, I mean, I'm sure um, that bothers them as much as it bothers me. Yeah, Absolutely not. It should bother you. It should bother you. FTR I don't has give a f- under Cornette <laughs> thinks about them. <laughs> um, FTR's so in, the next, t- in the tag title feud and they're holding the AAA belts. I wouldn't call that floundering. They're, they're on TV. Pentagon and Phoenix is one of the best tag teams in the world, bro. Mm. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Miro versus Brian Danielson was next. These that, guys went forever. To me, he was a disappointment. Okay, let me just yeah. say one thing about this match, though. I did not. I don't know about you, Joe. I didn't like this finish. The one they did. Wait, with he the choked super- him out and passed. He choked the, 
Miro wait, 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 no, 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 no. I'm talking about the one before. I'm going to get to this finish, too. But the Lucha Brothers finish where he just puts on a mask and he comes in and now they're saying that he was an illegal guy or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wasn't a fan of that finish. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a really good match. And then the guy just puts on the mask and, okay, if you're going to put on the when mask, is, it worked FD- against you because you got beat. When is FTR coming to Mexico? December 4th. Cool. Who are they wrestling? Pentagon and Phoenix. Mm. Oh, interesting. Cool. What, what's the finish of that? Can't tell you the finish. Yeah, wouldn't make any sense. I, well, I'm assuming <laughs> that FTR is supposed to lose. Maybe. Um, so next is Miro against Brian Danielson in the Eliminator Tournament Final. I think this match had a problem of filing the previous two from from and in the room I was in, and, and three Brian fans too. Nobody was really into it, and the finish hurt it too. How come he choked him out? How okay, do you so this like, match, this is what I will say. I thought the first match was really good. I thought the second match was really good. I thought this match was good, mm-hmm. but I did not like the finish to this match either, like the Pentagon one. So they get up on the top, uh, D.I., and he's supposed to hit him like with a DDT. Huh? You know, when you hit with a DDT, you go face first, right. but he fell like on his side, like awkward kind of, like he fell on his side, and then he went and he put in the guillotine instead of like, Hitting the DDT and staying in the guillotine, which probably would have looked cool, mm. but the finish looked kind of Yeah. So I wasn't a big fan of it. Yeah, everybody I was with said that and noticed that they never showed a replay of the finish. So that's, so, yeah. so next is Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, and Christian Cage against Super Click, Adam Cole, and the Young Bucks with, with our boys. Who, who, who are they with? Our boys. Cutler. Uh, and, not, and Nakazawa. Nakamura, no, yeah, yeah. Nakazawa. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is like had a lot of bad comedy spots. It in, was in crazy, here. crazy match. Um, yeah, just let, let me just say this: this is the epitome, the blueprint for sticking ten pounds in a five pound bag. Not to say that it was because they did a lot of creative Big like time. they usually do with these guys. But they did which, everything instead of like, hey, let's do this, but let's, right, let's do it all. Right, let's do everything <laughs> we've really ever did. seen, <laughs> thought of. You know, yeah, right. Did it. Put all put your put your put put your one hundred ideas with my one hundred ideas, and we'll stick with his his one hundred ideas, and let's get all these ideas in. Yeah, you know, and it was like so, holy shit. Just there was a lot. <laughs> So the Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus and Christian wins. Um, Adam Cole, I didn't, I haven't seen this, okay, but I'm going to watch uh, AW tonight. Adam Cole is is uh, is uh, I'm very a big fan of his, but since he's been here, he's slapping his leg all the time, and it looks ridiculous because mm. he's he's an overhand slapper, which I think hurts his work. Um, so they uh, any just this, this match, I figure what it was, you know. Yeah. So next is Cody and Pac against Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black. How is this? Okay, this is the 60, best. This part. is the shortest match of the show so far. It's sixteen minutes and fifty-two seconds. This couldn't follow like the other matches, like the first three, but mm. it was all right. But here was the best part. Poor Cody, he <laughs> comes out and there's a disabled guy, right? And he gives him like his weight belt yeah. or whatever he gave him. Yeah, the weight belt. And bro, did. you know, of course, trying to get over the people, he and got in the him. ring and he got Ooh. booed. And I'm like, bro, don't you understand that whatever you do, even if it's well-intentioned, you're getting heat and anything you do, it's going to look disingenuous because people don't like you now. Embrace the f- heat and turn heel. Why are mm-hmm. you fighting this? How could you're you not going to win. How can this company claim they're not going to make the same mistakes that other companies do? And here you are. You got a guy getting booed out of the building. You're still trying to push him as a baby face. How bad was he getting booed? Dude, it was, it was so bad. It was, it was funny. And it's... Uh... I Man. think that, you know, let's, 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 dive, let's dive into this. Let's dive yeah. into this. Why do you think he's getting booed? I've told you already. Reality show. We know the reasons. What do you think the main reason is? The over the the combination. I think it's the reality show. I think it's the over the top entrance, the having nine people come to the ring, shoehorning his wife and the stuff, all that stuff. It finally built up and people got sick of it. Yeah, I think it's a combination of all of that coming out, wearing the headset, you know, doing that that thing where you got over patriotic and a blur. Yeah, that promo yeah, yeah, that that we, we talked about where he's getting on the racial equality like, and right. yeah. And his right, yeah. feuds with, with QT and with a go go and stuff. I don't think that helped him either, you know. Because let's be honest, let's be honest, let's be honest, okay? A lot of this smart mark fan base, okay, is, is centered in the Northeast, right? Bro, you just get like these, yo. Know, like a lot of these New Yorkers, they don't have time for for this this like virtue signaling, you know, stuff and everything for for, for their wrestling. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like, see New Yorkers, like, they like to cuss, they like, you know, stuff. So, even like this is kind of a nerdy fan base, when you get in that element of the of the crowd, it's like, th- that, that the crowd can be rough up there. You know they'll they'll turn on you if you if you're if they don't like your creative and stuff and all that. I think that's kind of a problem. Well, they've tried every show. trick for so he can the, get the rub off of other baby faces. Yeah. Every, they're trying everything and the people ain't buying it. No. So just embrace it. And it's such a uh. switch from think about how over he was at Starcast when this all began, or his match with Dustin, or, or his think match. Think how over he would be as a heel right now. He'd yeah. be a top heel, number one. Boom. All right. So Britt Baker and Tay Conte, who are Arguably the two right now top star, top female stars in AEW, correct? Would you agree on that? Well, Ruby Riot, Ruby uh, and Ruby Riot. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but, but let's be honest. You, you don't want to say that Ruby Riot's like the top one of the top stars there when she was like the number yeah. twelve girl on the WWE roster. You but know she is so, right. Okay, so but my point is, is that when these girls, you, 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 I don't, they, they, I'm sure they don't listen to this, but they should take hmm. notes. On just watching how Charlotte, Becky, Sasha, how they do the ring entrances. Because these girls don't do a ring entrance. They come out on the ramp, they do a pose for like two or three seconds, and then they hustle to the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, relish the time. Like, you know, that's, that's one thing these girls got to realize. When you're attractive, take your time. Mm-hmm. Could come into the ring. Let the focus be on you. Let's get your camera. Shot. Like, get, like, look at Becky. Look, you seen Sasha Banks' ring entrance? What does she do? She takes her yeah, time. She poses, she's like, she, she dances, she, she dances, she puts, she prances, her, you know, some shit. She and she relishes it. These girls like are kind of like it's like it's weird. It's like when I see them in the ring entrance, it's almost like they I, just want to get in the ring and wrestle. I, I, it's like, bro, them. your entrance is part of your personality. Take right. your time. Yeah. And there's one thing too. It's like when I see Sasha, Charlotte, and these girls when they do the ring entrances, they feel very confident in themselves, right? I don't think when I watch these girls ring entrances, I see a lack of confidence in themselves. And it's like they're well, because it's like, maybe you know, they're born. This is the first time they've really been on TV. Even though I think maybe Britt Breaker might have been in Ring of Honor, but you know, was she there, Joe? So, so yeah, she was in Ring of Honor. Yeah, and w, make, and Taya w, and Tay was in WWE, but she was there a little while. Yeah, you know, they, they don't really have a lot there. of experience. Here's the so uh, uh, someone but, just. Bro, so, but the funny thing is, there's so many people backstage that do have experience. Why aren't they telling them how to do this? I don't know. Here's the estimated. Someone just sent me the estimated pay per view buy. So in 2021, Revolution did 135, Double or Nothing did 115, All Out did 205, which is their record. And now Full Gear just did 145, so 60,000 down from the last pay per view. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. It's not, but you it's know. their Bro, it's just, it's, it's, second it's, highest it's, buy rate, too. It's their second highest buy rate, but if, if you would have said two months ago, two and a half months ago, when Brian and all these guys came in, you would have been pointing to this pay per view and say, wow, this is going to be, look at you know, that first or second week. Wow, look how excited this is. And then it, just, it was flat. Yeah, you know? so, it is. It's the first pay per view uh, where Brian wrestled and where Adam Cole wrestled. Yep. Um, so next was CM Punk against Eddie Kingston. I heard this is uh, they, like they booed it. Punk. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, they booed him. Well, we talked about why they probably booed him because he's been flat. Um, when Khan says, "Why do you think like, they booed him, Joe?" Because you're a big CM Punk fan. Because he, uh, I guess, because he's been doing these few, uh, matches with lower rank guys, and they want to see him do more. And it's kind of been the same. Kind of. What hey, I'm saying, back. Right? Woohoo! He- hello, everyone. You know, he's been over the top babyface and. They don't want, I think if they turn him heel, that's great. People want venomous punk f- shooting. Do you and, like my yeah. idea of him and Cody being heels? At this point, for yeah, absolutely. Put them together and have them f- clean house on everybody, you know, just viciously. But he, uh, it was a great match, I thought. And uh, Eddie, Eddie always uh, comes out and, and performs, I believe. But Punk, Punk and him had had a little story. They didn't explain it too much, but it was for the inside fans. Punk disrespected him back in IWA Mid South, you know. So there was some heat there, and I think that promo too made Punk kind of seem like a. <laughs> so people kind of turned against him because Eddie's promo too. I think. All right. So uh, next is the eight, the ten man. Did you like the match though, Conan? Yeah, the match Punk was and good. Kissing, yeah, very so next good. Next is the ten man uh, with the inner circle against uh, the. Shoot fighters and Scorpio Top Sky team. and Ethan Page. How was this? Uh, not that good, I thought. I heard. Let me see how long it was. They had to work around minutes. Arlovsky and Dos Santos, who are very inexperienced, too. You know, right. There was a lot of go over here and do this now and that kind of right. shit, you know, so. Right. Uh, next, Kenny Omega. Let, let me get to Joe. But Lambert, but Lambert was 
phenomenal. So that was a good. That was a pull, highlight of that. Pull the uh, pull Meltzer's ratings for these matches. Um, Next I don't, is, uh, I don't Kenny think the, versus the, Hangman. The Observer's not out yet, so I'm, I might not have him. Okay, so Kenny versus uh, Hangman. How is this? I didn't see it, Conan. So very, very good. Uh, so, so Hangman beats him. How long uh, was it? How, what was it thirty minutes? Twenty-five and, minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's. I mean, bro, like these. La- I mean, like you know. <sighs> Like the last two matches were another twenty and twenty five minutes. You know, it's like it's like wait, I don't know, bro. But let me the just say, th- go ahead. You know, Omega's been working hurt because he's gonna get an operation today. They're gonna tell him what day he has to get it. But anyway, he's been working really, really hurt. So, you know, he went out there and he put on a hell of a performance. This is a good match. What's the this inju- is a really good? Can you match. say what the injury is? I don't know. I th- I, I'm not sure. Mm. I think it's his shoulders. Today mm. they're gonna make some sort of public announcement or tomorrow. Mm. Mm. All right, so that's been our uh, AEW full gear review. Yeah, all the matches are basically good, just for people that you know want to know. But if you really want to go out of your way, uh, the Omega Adam Page for sure, the Punk, um, Punk Kingston, uh, Kingston and Punk for M- sure. MJF, you want to see that MJF Darby, MJF MJ, Darby for sure. Um, uh, Lucha Brothers and FTR, even though I didn't like the finish, and even though I disagree with brought with with uh, Joe, I like the Miro Brian Daniels match, yeah. Danielson match. I yeah. think the problem that they're running into, and it's been something that you guys have discussed, is that so they have eight pay per view matches, but the problem is a lot of them are really similar. They're all not indie style, but there's a lot of spots, there's a lot of PWG type, and they run together, you know. Right. And uh, there's not so by the and time it looks like one long match. Yeah, by the time Brian Miro happened, my friends were like exhausted with it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, that's that's the problem, I think. All right, that's been the review. That's been our review. Yeah, boom.